I think it is pretty clear that inflation is on the first page of the newspapers. Uh, people are worried about it. Uh, I hear it. I hear it at home all the time. Oh, the price of milk is this. Oh, can you imagine how much the price of pizza went up? Uh, oh, can you imagine how much this, this went up? It's on everybody's mind. But don't you worry about a thing. Our government will solve this problem for us. If you're new to this channel, my name is Mariusz Skonieczny. I run Microcap Explosions, a website dedicated to microcap stocks, which are ignored and underfollowed by the investment industry. I also wrote 10 books on investing, one of which is available for free download at microcapexplosions.com. I also created violininvestinguniversity.com, a free resource to make you a more intelligent investor. Isn't it ironic that the entity or people that create inflation they are 100 percent responsible for creating this mess they are going to help us solve it let's have a listen to what joe biden has to say about how he's going to address inflation one way to fight inflation is to drive down wages and make americans poor i think i have a better idea to fight inflation Lower your costs, not your wages. Lower your costs, not your wages. Like, what? What? Lower your costs, not your wages. I thought, correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. I thought that the wages were part of the cost. Maybe that's just me. Do you have a different opinion? I really thought that wages for businesses are part of the cost. Joe Biden recommends that the businesses or society should lower the costs, but not the wages. As if businesses existed, as if the sole purpose of the businesses was to pay employees high wages. I'm going to start a business so that I can pay wages to people. Hmm. I don't think that's how it works. Maybe in your mind it's different. In my mind, people start businesses because they want to make money. That's how cap capitalist system works. They want to make money. And the only reason why they pay wages is because they need those people in order to make money. But number one reason is to make money. Risk capital, risk investment in order to make money. Become wealthier, whatever. And... Paying wages is the means to an end. Nobody starts a business in order to pay wages for somebody else. But the main point for this video is I find it ironic that the entity or the group of people that create inflation are the ones that are going to solve it for us. So let's talk about how does the government create inflation? Well, first of all, the government controls money, right? The government controls the supply of money. If the supply of money grows faster than the goods, that's inflation. They create inflation. And what our government does is our government collects money in taxes, right? It has revenues, and then it has expenditures. Defense, social security, programs, I mean, you name it, right? Plenty, government has plenty of things to spend money on. Our government always spends more money than it collects, okay? I wish it wasn't like this, but the government officials always come up with ways to
to spend more money than they collect. If they collect a million dollars, they spend a million three. If they collect $10 million, they spend $13 million. If they collected a hundred trillions or gazillions, they will spend more. Like, no doubt, they will find a way to spend more. So, the difference has to be borrowed. The government borrows money from all of us, from, you know, by issuing bonds, treasury bills, right? That's how government borrows money. And who buys those, those, uh, those bonds? Who, buy, who buys that debt? Well, it could be you and me. It could be your pension fund. It could be a hedge fund. It could be a, a so sovereign fund. And that wouldn't be a problem if those were the entities that bought it. This wouldn't be a problem at all. If there's a buyer for it, no problem. The government will pay them interest for, for lending them the money. The problem is when the Federal Reserve buys the debt and monetizes the debt because the government needs money to, to overspend, right? It doesn't have enough buyers out there to keep the interest rates low because the government, our government has $30 trillion worth of debt and therefore, it needs interest rates to stay low. Because if the interest rates are too high, then the government will have a huge interest expense, which is an expense, additional expense that makes it overspend versus what it's bringing in. So, if, if the U.S. government just let us, foreigners, China, whatever, buy our debt, it wouldn't be enough to keep the interest rates low. It wouldn't. So, the Federal Reserve has to step in and it has to be a buyer of those bonds. And the Federal Reserve just creates the money out of thin air. Okay? It doesn't have any money. It creates them out of thin air. So, and it keeps them on the books. And so, that's how it monetizes the debt. And that's what creates inflation. And it would have been okay if it was just temporary. But take a look. Take a look at Federal Reserve uh, balance sheet. Um, it just continues to grow. It always grows. So the government creates inflation because it cannot get its costs under control. It always introduces new programs. In the, and when it wants to cut some programs, well, then people who are in those programs, of course, they don't want to be uh, cut out, right? Everybody wants a piece of the pie, right? So it's not easy to uh, remove those programs. It's much easier to create new programs, but it's much harder to reduce them. Inflation, as I said in the previous video, the definition of inflation is really not price increases. The definition of inflation is increase in the monetary supply. Now, increasing the money supply can cause prices to go up, most often does, but price increases are not inflation. But because everybody uses that, I'm just going to say that inflation is price increases. What else does our beloved government do to create more inflation? How about paying people not to work? Like during COVID. Now everybody is surprised that prices are going up. But our government paid people during pandemic not to work. So, if people don't work and companies are produce goods and services, don't you think that this will cause prices to go up? Because the businesses need labor. They need workers to produce their goods and services. And if those workers are paid not to work, the businesses have to pay them more in order to incentivize them to come to work. 
So the government creates competition for businesses that are then forced to increase wages and then the wages increase prices. What else does the government do to uh, create inflation? Uh, let's think about oil, for example. Right now, oil is in the news. If you wanted the price of oil to, to go up, what would you do? If you wanted the price of oil to go up, what would you do? I would uh, tell the oil producers not to produce more oil. I would make it very difficult for oil companies to produce oil. I would tell them that if the price of oil is high, as it is right now, if they make profit, we're going to tax them to death because they are not entitled to profits. I would tell them that whatever profits they create, we will take a lot of it away so that they cannot use those profits to invest in more oil production. That's what I would do if I wanted the, the price of oil to go up and create prices of everything else to go up because oil is the input cost to many of our goods and services. They have to be transported, right? If, if it costs more to pay truckers to deliver something, it's gonna pay, it's gonna cost you to buy it. But that's what I would do if I wanted to create inflation. And that's exactly what our government is doing. They're telling us that they are fixing the problem or they're telling us how to fix the problem, but they are the ones they are creating the problem because, I mean, look at the news. Is our government helping oil companies uh, produce more oil? Is our government telling them, hey, we need you because, you know, the green energy is not here yet. We need you. We need you to make more investments and we're going to help you with that by allowing you to make profits so that you can take the profits and reinvest. No. No, they do the, exactly what I would do if I wanted to uh, increase prices. They, they're talking about windfall, uh, windfall taxes on their profits. They're talking about how they're not going to be needed in the future. They're talking about how, how oil is evil. They're not doing anything to help the situation. And when people are complaining that inflation is higher, what are they talking about? They're going to give you vouchers, vouchers for gas, vouchers for food, vouchers for this, help for this. They're going to help. They're going to help the poor people because inflation impacts the poor people the most. Like, do you think I care? Like, oh, okay, pizza went up 20%. I don't care. But the poor people do. When their apartment rent goes up, they do. When their grocery bills go up, they do. When their cell phone bills go up, they do. Because their wages don't go up as much, right? Because businesses cannot, cannot offer them as much, especially for the people that don't have real skills, like that they can be replaced like this. Yeah, their wages don't go up as fast as the costs that they have. So inflation hurts the people the most. But, but the government is going to help them. The government is going to give them, give them uh, all kinds of benefits. And who's going to pay for those benefits? Uh, how about uh, it's going to be paid by deficit? And how are the deficits are, are going to be financed? Uh, by debt. And how, who's going to buy that debt? Federal Reserve. And if Federal Reserve buys the debt, uh, is that going to help inflation or create inflation? Hmm. I think you know the answer to this question. But here's the kicker. The people that create inflation and tell you that they're going to solve the inflation problem are the ones that don't want that problem to be solved. They benefit from inflation. Our government benefits from inflation. Think about this for a second. In 2014, I, I bought a house. Okay? I bought a house for... Uh, 140,000. 
Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. Pretty cheap. That's why I live where I live. And I took on uh, $100,000, $110,000 of debt. So I put down like 30 grand. I, I took a mortgage, 30 year mortgage. I don't remember what the rate was uh, 410. Okay. My payment is about 900 bucks, L less than 900 bucks with everything, with taxes, with everything. But let's just use, let's just use an example of a thousand dollars, right? Payment, a thousand dollars. And let's assume that I make $50 per hour, five zero. Okay. So thousand dollars divided by 50 it's 20 so I have to work uh, 20 hours per month in order to pay for my mortgage right now imagine if inflation is at five percent okay and my wage my wage is actually going to keep up with inflation so it's going to grow at 5%. Within 10 years, I'm going to be making about $80. $80 for one hour. But my payment, my payment is based on when I took the mortgage out, right? So I'm still paying $1,000, but now I'm making 80. So $1,000 divided by 80. Now it costs me about 12 hours to pay for the mortgage, where before it cost me 20 hours to service that mortgage. Now, 10 years later, it only cost me 12 hours to, to pay for that mortgage. So if I take on debt and our government creates inflation, it benefits me, right? It's wonderful. I want to take on debt because it's good, right? So now, what about the government? The government has $30 trillion worth of debt. Do you think they have interest in paying this off? No. They benefit from inflation because they are inflating their problem away. Because when they create inflation, all of us will make more money nominally, okay? And they will get more money in revenue, but their debt is their debt is going to be inflated away, right? So they need inflation in order to inflate their own problems. So just like inflation benefits me when I take out debt, especially fixed debt, it benefits them. So for them to say that they're going to help inflation, but when they benefit from inflation, it's kind of laughable. But it's even more laughable when they are the ones that create inflation. Every problem that they throw out there makes this problem even worse, but they're the ones that are going to solve the problem. They're the ones that are going to solve the problem when they are the ones that benefit the most from inflation. So these are my thoughts on inflation. And unfortunately, the people that get hurt the most from inflation are the ones that the government is trying to help. With that being said, that's it for this video. Please take the time to subscribe to this channel, leave a comment, uh, click on the notification bell, and share any thoughts with that you have about this video in the comments below. Now, why am I asking you to, to do that? Because when you engage in a YouTube channel by liking, commenting, sharing, you help the Google algorithm. You help Google push my videos to a wider audience. That's why I constantly ask you to be engaged to help grow this YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.